In this video, we will continue with the scalar product. You will find this on page 240 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Some, scale, um, some properties of the scalar product. When two parallel vectors, A and B, have the same direction, so they are parallel, theta equals zero degrees. So, a multiply b, a dot b is going to be, so in the place of zero, now, I, I like always that you connect work, because I think if you can connect work, it makes it so much easier. Okay, so I want to just take you back to trigonometry. So can you remember the cos, the cos graph? Now the cos graph goes like this. Okay, where that is 360, that is 180, and that is 0 degrees. Okay, so when cos is 0 degrees, do you see what's happening? Then in the place of this, I will put a 1. But you can also press it on the calculator. I just wanted to show you on the graph because it's between 1 and negative 1. Okay, so then A, the scalar product of AB, will just be that I just multiply this mag uh, magnitude of vector A and B. When two vectors are perpendicular, A and B are right angles to each other. Now, what is cos 90? There is 90. Let me get another color. There is 90. Okay. So if it's 90 degrees, then what will it be? Zero. So in this place, there will be a zero. And as soon as I multiply that with the magnitude, then it becomes zero. So this is very important. If two vectors are perpendicular, their scalar product will be zero. And I can also use it to prove it. This can be handy when to find out whether two vectors are at right angles. So as soon as you see that the scalar product is zero, then you know the vectors will be 90 degree to each other perpendicular. Perpendicular vectors, when the scalar product is zero, and it's due to that cos 90. So when two vectors are perpendicular, the scalar product is zero. The reverse is also true, that when the scalar product is zero, then two vectors are perpendicular. So why is that you can prove it? Okay, let's go on. Using the scalar product to find the angle between two vectors. One of the common applications of the scalar product is to find the angle between the two vectors. From the formula of the scalar product, okay, so this is the formula for the scalar product. We can rearrange it to obtain an expression for cos theta. It's, it's like we make cos theta the subject of the formula. So we're just going to divide this magnitude of the two on the other side. And that's what I basically did. I just made it the subject of the formula. Now, let's look at an example. Let's make it a bit bigger that you can see better. If A is this and B is this, find the angle between A and B. Okay, stop there. So I will first find the scalar product. So the scalar product will be that I just multiply the values in front of I, the values in front of J, and I get 4. Okay, and then I find the magnitude of A, and I find the magnitude of B, and then I just basically fill it in the formula. So I put the 4, I put um, the magnitude, the magnitude, and then don't forget, how do we find an angle? We press shift cos. We're telling the calculator to go to the angle mode. Make sure your calculator is on degrees. So press that. Oh, not nice writing. Okay, let's just call it degrees. So press that uh, mode, mode, and one. Okay, and then you press shift. Cos and then a bracket. So um, it's, it's going to be that 4, are you with me? Divide, and then you can press the bracket and then square root 10, multiply square root 2, close the bracket, that's for the bottom, close the bracket for the whole, uh, whole part, and then equals. And then check what they say. Um, if they say nothing, it's correct to, to one decimal place. 
if they say um, something, sometimes they say to the nearest unit, so just check. They didn't say anything, so make it one decimal place. Okay, and then they ask you, find now it's three dimensional. It's actually the same. I first find the scalar product. Okay, did you see? So I'm just going to also, now it's just three, so eight times four. Then negative six times negative three. Then negative 10 times zero. Okay, so that become and it's 50. Then I find um, the magnitude of A, the magnitude of B, um, okay, magnitude of A, okay, I think here's a printing mistake. It's the magnitude of C, and this is the magnitude of D, okay. There it's correct again. In the next print, I will just correct it. Okay, and then I just fill it in. The values is correct. And then again, I press my shift cos. And did they say, um, find the angle between C and D? Um, if it's an exact number, I note the example that referred to on page, this is the example that was referred to on page 239. Oh, okay, that one. So let's just, I just want to quickly check on my calculator to see why I didn't make it to one decimal place, even if it's a zero. So shift, pause, I just check it quickly, bracket, 50, divide, bracket, square root, 200, zero, zero, multiply square root, oh, not square root, multiply 5, close the bracket, close the bracket, equals. Okay, it's on the dot, but I think the best will be, and I will do that correction also, to make it 45.0 degrees, because it must be, if it's in degrees, correct to one decimal place. I will just correct that in the reprint. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I just want to give you, um, okay, they like to say this correct to one um, decimal place, the angle between is correct. Okay. I want you to do just number 1B. I think it's enough. It's very, very straightforward. Um, and I think one will be enough um, to, to do a video on. Okay, let's start. Then you can continue as soon as you try it. But it's always good to try it first on your own. So it's negative i plus 3j minus 2k. And then number d. It is I plus J minus 6. Okay. okay. And now I'm going to find the scalar product. Okay. So first let's find it. Um, the, the scalar product of CD. C dot D. So it's going to be negative 1 and 1 plus 3 and 1 plus negative 2 and negative 6 and that's going to be negative 1 plus 3 oh sorry the bracket uh, plus 12 so it's 15 and that's going to be 14 okay now i'm going to find the scalar product now the magnitude of c pythagoras theorem so it's negative 1 square plus 3 square plus negative 2 square. So it's going to be 1 plus 9 plus 4. So it's going to be the square root of 14. And then it's going to be the magnitude of t. So it's going to be 1 square plus 1 square plus negative 6 square and that's going to be 1 plus 1 plus 36 so it's going to be the square root of 38 now I'm just going to put everything in so now I'm going to say the cos theta I fill it in I start with the scalar product and then I go for square root 14, okay. 
and then make a root common common square root 14 square root 38 and then I'm just pressing on my calculator shift pause and then bracket 14 divide square root okay I think I can make a bracket again there the shift pause I'm starting again bracket 14 divide bracket square root 14 times square root 38 close the bottom bracket close the top bracket equals and I'm getting don't forget to say theta theta because it's not cos theta that's the ratio so the theta is going to be 52.6 degrees and that's my final answer it's very straightforward so but make sure you're able to do it